Is a 60 years old Linhoff tripod worth to buy today? It is. This old Linhoff tripod is about 60 years old. We've got it on in vintage car market nearly for nothing. For peanuts, an old guy was selling a lot of vintage stuff. Almost all of his stuff was useless junk. He didn't know anything about this tripod. The only thing he knew was, this is a professional tripod. The tripod was in poor condition. It was dirty, very dirty. The Linhoff logo wasn't recognizable but Carl recognized it at the first glimpse as a Linhoff. Because the tripod's color, shape and made are unique. Today Linhoff is the oldest still producing camera manufacturer in the world. Linhoff was founded in Munich in 1887 by Valentin Linhoff. Linhoff initially focused on making camera shutters and developing the first leaf shutter. Later the company made premium raw film and large format film cameras, 6x9, 9x12, 6x17, 18x24. This cameras became famous in the 1950s. At the beginning was the Linhoff Technica in 1934, the company produced later 4x5-inch cameras, the Aero Technica and the Linhoff Standard Press Camera. The Linhoff 220 series were cameras for fast shooting news images and soon copied by Japanese companies. Linhoff produced also some tripods and equipped the tripods with Linhoff or Shiansky heads. This old tripod was made for the big Linhoff cameras, and its best part is the ball head. Some days ago we mounted the Linhoff ball head on a Manfrotto tripod. We used an external quick-release plate, that is better for some reasons. The first reason is, that the tilting screen of our Fuji cameras collides with the big circular plate of the Linhoff ball head. The second reason is, that the cam can be quicker removed or set up. Turning a cam around the ball head screw isn't really funny. Our Fujinon 100 to 400 mm lens was mounted to the quick release plate at this day. It can make a lot of sense to keep old gear or to buy old gear. The Linhoff ball head is 60 years old. We bought the Manfrotto tripod in 1996 or 1997. Today the Manfrotto works as good as new. We also bought the old quick release plate in 1996 or 97. The quick release plate was used and we get it for peanuts. We don't know the brand and we will be glad if someone can tell us its manufacturer, because we want to buy a second plate. The Linhoff ball head has a hard friction. It isn't clearly not a ball head for quick adjustments. The ball have got some scratches in 60 years and this could be the reason for the hard friction. Perhaps we will disassemble the ball head and fix it. March 2018 we visited a vintage car and motorcycle market. Unfortunately there were almost bikes on sale and the cars were very unattractive, but we made a good deal and get our first Rolls Royce for 1 euro. Soon after this deal we made another and get the Linhoff tripod for peanuts. Here it is in front of the dealer's car, after its first cleaning. Sorry, we couldn't make a cleaning movie. The old Linhoff tripod looked like a black and dirty mess. To check its condition Carl cleaned it with paper hankies and I was busy to give him all my tissues and pick some more out of Carl's pockets.
We use two different polishing compounds. First a polishing compound for quick polishing the straight outsides of the tripod with a battery drill. Afterwards we use the more liquid polishing compound for the profiled insides and for finishing all aluminium parts too. At last we were busy to search a spot to show the tripod's height in front of a not disturbing background. We sold this tripod and another one we got later. The weak point of this tripod is its plate to mount the head. It has a much too short male thread and it is possible that the corresponding female thread inside the tripod's column is damaged after years of use. But it is an all-metal tripod and it is easy to fix a damaged thread with taps and in the worst case some two components epoxy to fill up the damaged female thread.